Welcome to the SARS Readiness Program for Tax Practitioners. This is Module 4 of 8, Getting Started. So at the end of this module, you expected to understand the importance of a power of attorney, understand the types of shared access on e-filing, and also setting up your primary login on e-filing. So what is a power of attorney? Basically, a power of attorney is where a representative taxpayer or a registered representative appoints you as a tax practitioner to act on their behalf. So this is whereby they're giving you the authority to interact with SARS and to submit declarations on their behalf. With the power of attorney now, it needs to be approved online. So that means that your client will need to go onto e-filing or onto the SARS website and approve the special power of attorney. So as a tax practitioner, it doesn't mean that you will be doing the work yourself, which means that you might be employing staff members in the form of tax clerks or tax consultants to be acting on your behalf. And in order for them to be able to engage with SARS, you need to delegate that authority to them. So there's a special power of attorney for employees as well of tax practitioners that will be engaging with SARS on a regular basis. So it's important to note that the validity period of a power of attorney is anywhere between one month to 24 months. Now, remember, if the registered taxpayer or the registered representative of a company, which is the public officer or the accounting officer, if that changes, then it means that your current power of attorney becomes null and void and it needs to be updated on the system. So, which basically means that you need to inform SARS as to who's the new registered representative and they need to duly authorize you to act on their behalf. So, therefore, issuing you with a new and updated power of attorney. In the event that this is not done, it means that we will revoke the older one. And as SARS is governed by the Tax Administration Act, we need to advise you that we have what we call the oath of secrecy. So the power of attorney is there to prevent us from divulging the, inc the, the information to the incorrect person. So that's why it makes it extremely important. So we're safeguarding SARS, we're safeguarding your clients, and we're safeguarding you as a tax practitioner. So under no circumstances should a tax practitioner approve a power of attorney online on behalf of a client. Remember also that as a practitioner, by you sharing your uh, PR number or your login credentials with your clerks, it means that you are still liable for any declarations submitted or any information that has been given that is incorrect by your clerks or your accounting officers or your um, tax consultants. Right, so we see it as being the main tax practitioner that has given information because they are using your PR number. So it's very important also that when you are assigning user rights to your staff, you give them the correct user rights. And later on, we'll speak about, about user rights. But basically, they will be logging into e-filing using their own credentials which is good because it gives you an audit trail as to when they logged in to your profile or your portfolio and what the activity was on there. So on e-filing, we have what you call shared access. So you have various types of shared access. You have a full shared access and you have a view only shared access. So full shared access basically means that the client has full um, rights to e-filing so they can view and they can submit just like you as a practitioner can also view and submit. And then you also have what we call view only shared access. This is whereby you give your client only viewing rights. So that means as a practitioner, you have all the functionality which you can perform. But as a client, the client can only go and view returns. They can't submit the returns. They can't edit the returns and they can't make the payments via e-filing as well. So the next video will show you as to how to set up your primary username on e-filing. Please be advised that these screens are subject to change. So you might log on to e-filing and see the screens might look a bit different or the color might change for that matter. 
but the principle still remains exactly the same. This video will show you how to set up your primary username. It will also show you how to link your associated portfolios. Log into SARS eFiling. If you are logging in using a username that is not associated with your individual text type, this screen will appear. Enter your password associated with the displayed username. Click Login. You will now be routed to the primary login credential screen. Select your primary username. This will be the only username you will use in future. If the selected username is different from what you have just used, then capture the associated password. Click Done. Now select your preferred method of communication. Click Continue. You will receive a one-time PIN via your preferred method. Enter the last six digits of the OTP and click Submit. Accept the terms and conditions. All the various portfolios are defined. Click Continue. This screen shows you all the portfolios that are linked to your ID number. The primary username that you chose earlier will be displayed as a linked portfolio. Other portfolios will be listed under Unlinked Portfolios. You may link one or all of these portfolios now or later using the associated passwords. To link the portfolio, click Link and enter the associated password. Click Submit. The portfolio is now linked. Click OK. You can now access any linked portfolio with its associated clients. Please note that the same rights that were allocated to the portfolio will still apply. To access a portfolio, click Go to Portfolio. The selected portfolio landing page will now be displayed. You can now transact on the portfolio. To navigate between your various portfolios, click on My Profile. Click on the Portfolio Management sub-menu. The Portfolio Management page will now be displayed. Thank you for using SARS eFiling. SARS at your service.